What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Brent Watches Babylon 5 for the very first time. Today, we're watching an episode called Divided Loyalties, which could be an interesting episode depending on which way it goes. My prediction for this episode was this is about Londo, how we've started to see those cracks, particularly in the last episode we saw with Londo, which was, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, where he really is questioning whether or not he's doing the right thing. And and this is a furtherance of that Londo redemption arc. Although I really like Jeff's uh, uh, prediction that this one was going to go back to Talia Winters and it was going to have something to do with her and Psycor and, you know, maybe we get another Bester. He's coming out here. If Talia is going to go rogue from Psycor, like because she took the lapel pen off and, and set it down, um, if she's going to kind of go rogue, they're going to send people out. And, and I had actually had a suggestion, which I think would be really cool because I've kind of been keeping this in the back of my head for a long time. You know, we, we have Dr. Kyle, we have, um, oh shoot, what was her name? Uh, Lita, Lita something or other, uh, from the pilot episode who didn't get killed. They just got rewritten. And Takashima, we also have Takashima, right? Um, and we saw Sinclair earlier this season come back. And so, like I was saying, what if what if maybe that Lita girl is the one that they send after Talia? Like, and we get her back. Or Bester. Bester certainly could work. <gasps> Jeffrey Combs. Jeffrey Combs. What, is, what was his? Harriman Gray or something like that? Uh, that would be cool. You know, get a return of one of those characters going after Talia. That actually sounds really interesting to me as well uh but i'm still sticking with londo i think that's what it's about and i don't know you guys probably know because you guys have probably seen this episode before i have not and i'm gonna watch this for the very first time you guys are gonna watch along hey real quick two things one like subscribe all that sort of stuff that you guys know how to do on youtube you guys are awesome please make sure you comment down below i'll do my best to comment you guys comment in such droves, it's hard for me to get to everybody, but uh, you guys do that. I'll do my best to interact with you. Please make sure you join us on Monday when Jeff and I dive into this episode completely. Here's a little spoiler, not spoiler, a tease. There's a little tease. You see this thing right back here? You see this? Well, guess what? This could be yours, but you're going to have to tune in on Monday to find out exactly how and exactly why. But this, this right here, it's up for grabs. And it could be yours. So make sure you tune in on Monday. Jeff's going to explain it all. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Um, but you guys definitely do that. And for right now, let's get started with Divided Loyalties. Good morning, Ambassador. Captain. I didn't know you read Universe today. Is that voice. their newspaper? Back home, if there is something you need to know, <laughs> you are told okay, just it's a little, what you require and no more. That flaps a little. It is tradition. 90s. Express preferences. Standard preferences. Oh, and include more detailed information on the sixth game of the World Series. Bing so is it like October, that. November in their time? Do they still do the World Series at that point of the year? I just love they're playing baseball that far into the future still. It's a big mistake on DS9's accepted. part. Utilize standard preferences. And Barry, respect the privacy of others by not prying into their affairs. To express undue curiosity. Is she telling him to leave? Do you wish to accept addition anyway? <laughs> Um, She's yes. embarrassed by that. Yes, <laughs> Mars. <gasps> is Jeff right? Oh, are we getting, are we getting, uh, uh, Sidecore? I made it. I told you I would. I did it, Derek. I got the info. It's all here. Get it to me, Derek. Get it to, to Babylon 5. Tell him it's not safe. I'm staying short with it. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a data crystal, right? Okay, so we got more Sheridan and Delenn being cute together, being embarrassed around each other now, having those awkward conversations. Totally see where this one's going. And these guys on Mars, it's got to be Psychor. Maybe not Psychor, maybe it's Home Guard, I guess. Some things there's a danger within on Babylon 5. Divided loyalties. Uh, is there a spy? Maybe home guard has sent a spy. I don't know. Let's find out. 
Well, we've got a whole bunch of fruit trees in the orchard. No, no, it's not the same. Is that how they wash their hands in the future? They just run them under the light? Massive trees. Redwoods, firs, pines. Trees, you know what I'm talking about? I miss them. All clear? I was wondering if you gave any more thoughts. <laughs> They're sweeping for bugs. I tell you. <laughs> Be a great hold on sorry sorry <laughs> they were sweeping for bugs and just talking about trees and i was sitting there like what are they talking about right now oh he's just going on and on and on about trees okay uh secret conversation i'm gonna rewind it just a little bit so i can see uh what's i saw something about talia so i'm going with jeff was right i was wondering if you gave any more thought to what i mentioned last night about talia exposing the coup back home means going up against some pretty big guns oh we yeah. need all the help we can get. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Maybe you're right. She was as upset about the death of the president as anyone else. Yes, I can't sir. see why she wouldn't want to help us. It's hard to believe it's taken us so long to get to this point. Two years. I mean, all you had to do is admit that you were wrong and I was right and everything would have been fine. You are the most stubborn. It's nice to see them being friendly. came in through the jump gate a few minutes ago. But now it's just sitting there. On my way. I have to find some place to stay tonight, so I better get to it. Look, um, if you want, why don't you just come over to my quarters tonight? All right. All right. Thanks. Look at them being besties. I'll see you tonight. Okay. They have come a long way, haven't they? She's still wearing that Psycor badge. Unidentified ship. This is Babylon Control. Please respond. All right, let's bring her in see what's inside. Better have a med team there. Dr. Franklin, confirm one passenger. She's unconscious, injured, but alive. All right, bring her in. As soon as I, uh, hold, 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 wait a second, wait a second, hold up. I know her. It's, it's Lita. <gasps> Lita Allison. <laughs> She's the first commercial telepath. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, she, all right, she's obviously coming in beat up. It's not what I thought was going to happen. I thought, I thought, uh, if it was going to be about Talia, that, that Lita was going to like come after her. Actually, I thought, I thought it was best or the more I thought about it, but you know, I just thought it'd be a good way to reintroduce Lita, but. <laughs> Lita, oh my god, guys! I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. God's honest truth. I have not seen this episode before, and I did. I had no idea. Promise you, promise you, promise you. Allow me to put the crown back on, though. It fits rather nicely. She arrived January 3, 2257. She left about six weeks later, and you haven't heard anything from her since. Uh, she and the doctor who operated on Kosh were recalled to Earth a few weeks later. After the scan, she was never quite the same. Oh. I'll take it easy. You've been through a lot. I want to see the captain. Uh -oh. Yes, well, all in good time. This can't wait. Yes, it can. I want to see Captain Sheridan now. Someone here, one of you, is a traitor. Uh oh. And I can prove it. I told you it's a traitor. She looks a lot younger than I remember her. Like, she looks like she's in her 20s. And what I remember was a girl like in her 40s. So I had to come back to warn you. While on Mars, I got involved with the revolutionary movement. Seven days ago, one of our best people was murdered on his way back from an intelligence gathering operation in Syria Planum. Psycho has a research center there. Psycho. It's Psycho. Our agent found out about a secret Psycho program. They bring someone in and work them over with drugs and deep scans to create a new personality. This personality is then submerged so far into the subconscious that it won't show up. So this is a Manchurian candidate situation? Spying. Until the day the password is sent telepathic. At that moment, the real personality is destroyed and the implanted one takes control. Someone here is not what mm -mm. he or she appears. All we have is a code name, control. Ooh, not good. Because I have the password. Captain, I realize you don't know me and you've got no reason to trust <laughs> She's me. She's going to walk around and just shoot that password into people's brains With and see what happens. <laughs> I can send a telepathic probe into the minds of your staff one at a time. Why does she actually need the, the My people will permission? Why can't she just do it? Like To having their loyalty questioned. It's not a question of loyalty. Whoever it is doesn't know they've been programmed. Comments, anyone? Is the phrase no way in hell ring a bell? <laughs> so, interesting. You know, they've set up since like the first episode that 
Ivanova is very, very, very against all telepathy, telepathics, anything. And she just said that it's a preserving mechanism. It seems almost too convenient that Ivanova is going to be the person who says no and rejects it so that it looks like it's going to be Ivanova, but obviously it's going to wind up being somebody else, probably somebody we don't even know on the station. Um, and now that Talia is roomies and besties with Ivanova, like they're turned the investigation towards Ivanova, you know, as they like, I guess, work together or whatever uh, to, to uncover the truth. And Talia and Ivanova's friendship is going to be tested, um, something of that nature. But it just I'm stopping the video here just to to say I think they're going to heavily point the finger at Ivanova. But it's going to not be Ivanova. It's going to just be somebody else. Um, yeah, that's that's my guess. Why is it every time you finally get things calmed down and everything's going great, life decides to kick you in the butt? But what? What? You said that life decides to kick you, but... <laughs> No, no um, <laughs> she doesn't know what a butt is. Uh, it's, a, it's a part of the body. Uh, it's up and show her. Get up and show her, Sheridan. Oh, you have the damnedest gaps in your vocabulary. It's the way the universe works. Wait just a little while, and the wheel turns. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank you. They're so cute together. Aww. That's one cabinet that will never threaten us again. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, it's been one of those days. You like your shower? It was glorious. But there's only one person on this station that I can trust implicitly. You. Are they going to, are they a thing? I mean, I got a job for you. Like, okay. There's a special prisoner in holding. Okay. So, I mean, like. I thought it was kind of weird. I got to be honest. I thought it was weird. Like they're both in their silky pajamas and she's coming out with her hair wet. And, you know, did you like your shower? And it was wonderful. And, and then they're, they're just talking. And I'm like, okay, they're just how they're putting them in costumes. Okay, fine. And they look like they were getting ready to kiss. Are they, are they implying that? Like I've never got that impression. Are they implying that they're now like that they're a couple, which if I'm seeming a little incredulous about that, it's only because of the time when this was made, like they just didn't do that on TV. So the idea that, that Babylon five would do that, I mean, that sounds pretty Star trek -y to me, <laughs> you know, like, cool. I just not expected for a 90 sci-fi show to go that route. Cause that, sure as heck seemed like that's what was going on there like they looked like they were about to or maybe they had just finished stuff you know what i'm saying if it's not a spoiler let me know like are they are they supposed to be a couple is that don't let me know don't let me know it's not don't i'll figure it out on my own don't let me know uh are they supposed to be a couple interesting Is she supposed to be in bed with Ivanova and Ivanova's gone? Is that... They're a couple! Is that what that's supposed to be? Because didn't Ivanova say she only had, like, one bed? Oh. Bam. They are a couple. To transfer you to a better facility so you can get some sleep. Cool. Good on Babylon yeah, 5. Good. This way, please. Now, where's Ivanova? <laughs> Get behind. Is that Ivanova? No. You, that's not about they're trying to make you think it's Ivanova. They're trying to send you down that path that Ivanova is the spy. There's no way it's Ivanova. I refuse to believe it. If it is, I'm done with the show. Because she's my favorite character. You okay? 
I'm sorry. I, I thought I was ready for this. I can't have Lita or any other telepath in my mind. Ever. I told you that my mother was a telepath. <gasps> is she a and telepath? Since I was born, she could slip into my thoughts. I'm a latent telepath. Whoa! Whoa, that's... Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's huge. This... That rewrites Ivanova's character. Like, it it colors everything she has done as a character to this moment. That is nothing I saw coming. Did not see that coming whatsoever. Oh, my God. That's, and you know what? That's more true. And because, I, I mean, that track, like, I'm just thinking about everything we've heard from Ivanova and Telepass over the, the two-ish seasons. We've, uh watch so far and it tracks everywhere along the way versus like say a dr bashir where they rewrote his character to be genetically altered or whatever and that's like yeah they're kind of messing with that one this one tracks so wow that's huge it's all this nonsense lately some days i don't even know who i am anymore mm. oh i forgot he does this Oh, he's in a vision. So, are we going to do this? Yes. You'll start with me. You're sure? There you go. I can't ask anyone else to do this until I've done it myself. Well, when do you start? I've already done it. You're clean. Mr. Garibaldi? <laughs> he gives over his PPG. <laughs> No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Yeah, exactly. I did not buy it at all. Not at all. Michael, Ivanova. Uh, we're going to hold off on Ivanova for now. He's a good man. You said you needed to see me. Oh, Captain, there you are. I was looking for you. Is it Talia? Oh, oh it is. <gasps> it's Talia. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. 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 You blew my cover. You're oh. dead. You hear me? You're dead. Get her out of here. Oh my gosh! Did not see that coming. Still can't believe it. How could you do this to us? Oh, it's not her fault. She's been carrying this artificial personality all this time without even knowing it. I guess it could have been a lot worse, though, huh? Another day or two, we would have invited her into our little cell group. Man, if Lita had to come aboard one week later, we'd be standing in front of a court-martial board right now. I think I may be having a problem with Ambassador Kosh, and I kept getting these images in my head. And what was on that data crystal he gave you? Terror. For the future. There may be something else. That's what he was doing with the dude with the head thing. By the way, where's Ivana? <gasps> That's what he, he knew. Finished business to take care of. I hope somewhere there's a part of you that can still hear me. <laughs> Always the romantic. The program is complete. The Talia you knew no longer exists. There's just me. Wow. I actually like this Talia better. I think. You don't know what it's like. Able to come out only at night when she was asleep. So is she the one that went and shot Lita? And you believed everything she said to you. All wow. the words I whispered in her thoughts while she lay sleeping. You probably were a couple. Into what you knew. My good and dear friend, Susan. Isn't that what Alondo says all the time? My good dear friend Garibaldi. You're right. Good dear friend. Is, is Londo a sleeper agent too? <gasps> I'm back. I want to see you again. Just one more time before I go.
Wow. Okay. Uh, I dig this episode. I'm going to, I'm going to let you know, this is a good episode. That's some good TV. That's some good TV right there. That really is. Did not see Ivanova being a telepath coming. Did not see Talia being the one who was the spy coming. I have so many questions. Like, what does this mean for Talia as a character? They're just going to let her go. Like they're not going to, they're not going to uh, arrest her. They're not going to put her in jail. They're not going to uh, frankly take her out. Uh, she knows what she knows and they're just going to let her go. And, and what does that mean? So she has all that stuff with the iron heart, everything that iron heart gave, that's all going to go right back to the, to the core, which I know these guys don't know that iron heart did any of that, but you and I do. So that's just going to go back to the core. Now I have oh, so many questions. What's does she know? Does she know about Ivanova? Because if they were sleeping together and she touched her without gloves on, did she scan Ivanova? Does Lita know that Ivanova is a telepath where she was blocking her? Like I have so many questions and, and that whole end scene with, with Lita and Kosh saying, I want to see you again. What happens when you see a Vorlon? Like what drug or or heaven are you in that you hear music and you dream about it and you you gotta hey can i can i, can I see you just one more time can i can i um wow i just i yeah i'm i'm a little in shock right now what does this mean for the lita characters lita st- or not i'm sorry not lita uh, uh talia does this mean that talia is still around is she still a main character is she getting written off the show you know what I kind of hope? Because I'll be real honest. The the actress, the way that she has portrayed Talia, or maybe it's just Talia herself, the way she was written, I've never really liked her at all. I found her very annoying. Like, very annoying, very dry. But when she turned bad, I was like, I like this one. She's great. Is Talia not going to be part of the main cast anymore? She's just going to kind of show up every once in a while like a bester or... Have we had other recurring characters like Bester come back? Um, you know, is she is she going to join the uh, uh, that thing that's under San Francisco, the control thing? Is that is that what she's going to do? I don't get the impression we're going to see Lita again, um, or at least not often. But what about Talia? Is she going to come back as a bad guy from now on? That could be cool. That could be cool. Is Ivanova? Are they going to lean into this? Are they going to lean into the relationship? There clearly was something there. Clearly. Uh, Are they going to lean into that? Is Ivanova going to go try to rescue her friend? You know, like we heard the character say like, oh, there's nothing left. That part is completely destroyed. Something of the host must remain, right? Stargate fans, something of the host must remain. So is it, you know, are they going to try to go get her and, and snap her out of it? Like a, that could go to some good places. All right. I'm in it. I like this. I like where this is. Uh, I can't wait to get to talk to Jeff about this. We're going to talk a little bit later tonight. So um, you guys make sure you tune in on Monday and we'll have that episode coming out for you guys. Um, And, and make sure you tune in to find out how you can win this Uh, with that guys, please like subscribe, comment down below. I'll do my best to get back with you guys down there and um, good episode. Good episode until next time, guys take care.